So I was looking through my Facebook feed today when I saw that Dr. Michael Greger from NutritionFacts.org, who's my freaking hero, he shared this article from the Center for Science in the Public Interest. This article was titled, Cancer Warning Label, Urge for Processed Meat and Poultry. And this nonprofit organization, Center for Science in the Public Interest, CSPI, um, they... First of all, they, they do a lot of work of, of being advocates for healthy diets, um, uh, you know, schools offering more healthy meals. They do a lot of work with schools and just in general with labeling and that sort of thing. Um, but this article, they're, they're urging the government to start labeling processed meats because if you guys remember late 2015, the World Health Organization, they came out with a report about processed meats being group one carcinogens. In other words, without a doubt, they cause cancer. So they're asking the government to start labeling and rightfully so. I mean, hopefully this happens sooner than later, but just like cigarettes, they're in the same freaking category as cigarettes, processed meats like hot dogs, sausages, bacon, uh, salami, those types of foods, they're in the same category as tobacco so it's it's it has to happen you know it just like cigarette boxes when you when if if you were to buy a cigarette box there's a label that says cigarettes cause cancer it's about time food starts being labeled with that so processed meats have been linked to colorectal cancer and just looking through the article here, and I have it posted down in the description below, about 50,000 deaths are estimated to occur in 2016 this year due to colorectal cancer, all right? Um, uh, so that, uh, <clears throat> that article that came out from the World Health Organization it said that for every 50 grams of processed meat consumed daily, your risk for colorectal cancer goes up by 18%. Okay, um, it's it's crazy. Like we we need labels ASAP. Um, yeah. So the the warning that they have up on their article, it's it's some like USDA warning. Frequent, frequent consumption of processed meat products may increase your risk of developing cancer of the colon and rectum. To protect your health, limit consumption of such products. So I think this would be great. I mean, like most of their work, I think it's, it's great to educate the public. Like most of us probably are probably want us to completely ban this stuff <laughs> like it's no good for nothing uh i guess besides the people that are going to leave the common bacon down below this video but i mean at the least educate people right i mean have some sort of label education out there and give people <laughs> the right to choose i mean they have the right now but just to have that education to make a conscious decision um, so a label like this, in my opinion, I think is great. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you, you know, you have to, you have to educate the public and for things like this, I mean, this is, this is big stuff, group one carcinogens. So I, I think it should be labeled. Um, and you know, red meat was also in that, um, that report, I believe it was a, a group two. So Basically, it wasn't a as severe carcinogen. Um, I think they said that red meat may cause cancer. Don't be surprised if a couple of years the ER labeled as group one carcinogens because the science is a bit slow to update things. But um, yeah, I thought this was a great article. I'm glad that more people are talking about this because, you know, it has to happen. It has to happen. Um, and just like cigarettes, you know, it wasn't a popular thing when they were first thought of being unhealthy. I mean, you saw doctors smoking and advertising back in the good old days uh, that cigarettes were healthy. And obviously, you know, things have turned around and now everybody knows that cigarettes 
cigarette smoking is not healthy. Um, so it's going to be a slow thing. It's not going to be popular. So many people eat processed meat on the daily basis. I know before I went, you know, before I transitioned to a plant-based diet, a 100% vegan diet, I used to eat a lot of processed meat and meat in general, dairy, a lot of animal products, but a lot of processed meat. I used to love bacon. I used to love hot dogs. I would eat like like turkey slices and ham slices on the daily for lunch at school. This stuff is not healthy. Let's label it to give people the right education to make the right decision. You know? That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Should we start labeling processed meats? Should we start labeling food in general that may be linked to cancer? Uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below. And also let me know what you guys think of these more laid back videos. If you guys like them, if you don't like them, you know, uh, give it a like if you do. <laughs> give it a dislike if you don't, I guess. Um, and I do have more videos coming on the way on some nutrition topics as well as cycling topics. So um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos and follow me on social media at Bananiac. Thank you guys for watching. Share this video with whoever you think may find it useful. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video.